got seven children. None of us are particularly tidy people, really, mm. but we do try and stop it getting too bad. It's not that we allow them to draw on the walls, it's just that, that they do it when no one's looking. Well, we did have one cleaner who was actually very good, wasn't she? But she decided that after cleaning our house, she couldn't really take it anymore and wanted to move into a different line of business. Woodburn and Aggie McKenzie have a mission to clean up the nation and get it cleaning. This week they're in Ross on Wye in Herefordshire, summoned by the Williams family who say they need help urgently. Since they got married, Gareth and Catherine Williams have been too busy for cleaning. They now have seven children to look after, all under 13. A monster family needs a monster home, and this former bed and breakfast boasts a kitchen, dining room, living room, conservatory, office, toilet, bathrooms, bedroom, 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 bedroom. This is a bedroom. There's no oh. pillowcases, Aggie, look. Oh, dear. God, help me, Aggie, please. I'm not exaggerating at all. Mm. Mm. It's nasty, isn't it? And this grey doesn't show dirt, would you believe? <laughs> so if it's showing dirt, it's bad. It's crayon. The drawers, my dear, are empty, virtually empty. And yet, yeah, everything's on the floor, look. I mean, this girl is at secondary school now. She need, she'll be doing homework. How does she keep herself organised? Well, How does she does find she? anything in the morning? Each child's room is a bombsite, and the collective shockwaves can be felt throughout the house. Behind the toilet, there's two old scrubbers, toothbrush containers, old blue rolls, one rubber glove. The mm. shower curtain, which is hanging here, <gasps> is full of mildew. Oh, oh look, look at this. Not nice. Kim, look at this. It's a Kim special, I reckon. Well, that toilet is so full of stale uh, poopy dupes. It's not and, exactly uh, welcoming, is it? Pee pees. I'm being very polite now. The conservatory is the Williams war zone. Here, shock and awe takes on a new meaning. It looks like it's been More ransacked. Is... Oh, God, help me. Where the heck do we start? What Juice. Is... Oh, spill. Look at the books again. Drenching, drenching, drenching wet. Now, look, this is not healthy for children. Mm. Adults, they get on with it, but this is not right, you know. Every child has made their own special mark on the walls, radiator, even the TV. Do you know what? There's red stuff on here. Was it cranberry? It's crayon. That's grim, isn't it? How the little ones been let do all this? Because there's got to be guidance from folk, mum and dad here. Exactly. These little ones are just, they just do what they want, don't they? Yes. Look at this. Oh, Kim, look at this. Isn't this great? Home comforts. <laughs> but the combined efforts of seven children pale next to their parents' trail of destruction. Oh, Aggie. Oh, Aggie. Oh, God. Look, look. Oh, it's a horror. It's a horror. The utility room and kitchen, the engine of the Williams household, and it's never been serviced. Walton Mountain never looked like this. This is just... Uh, th this is the worst laundry I've ever seen in my entire life. Oh, look at this. You've got to step over all the stink. Oh, look at the bottles. My skirt's too tight. Hang on, Ag. I can't get over here. <laughs> oh. Oh, Aggie, oh, your bacteria at the ready here, girlie. You've got a baby crawling around in here, presumably, while she's this, cooking. So, how old was this baby? About eight months, oh. I think. Over the last five years, the spillages and residue of over 35,000 meals have steadily been multiplying. Oh, Kim, specimen, look. Oh, look. Oh, what a bacteria job that is. Oh, come along. Look, look. Oh, please. Uh, oh, look, it's come off in one big chunk, Kim. Oh, Christ. <laughs> what's that? Oh. oh, Aggie, I'm sorry, but I... <gasps> all the bags are open and falling and... Oh, oh. Look, look, you can't actually... Oh, is that honey? That is oh, stove. What is it? They oh, can't my cook. God, Kim. 
Kim. They, they can't be cooking. It, are these this kids living? Is a horror film. Are these kids living from the takeout shops? Yeah. Oh God! What's in the bottom of this oven? Just years and years of grease and filth and drippings and muck and. Honestly, I feel like throwing up. I am not joking. I am absolutely not joking. This is making me want to retch. Time to confront this filthy family. We've been over your house, and I'll tell you, it's a beautiful big house. Mm. But it is a terrible, dirty mess, isn't it? I mean, why do you like living in it like this? No, it does get depressing, but we do try and have it sort out every now and again, especially when there's visitors coming. Do you help out in this I house? I don't do any housework at all. No, oh, I have to you, say. Like... I'm leaving early to visit clients, and I'm not coming, coming back until dinner time. Mm -hmm. And then there's dinner, and then there's getting the kids to bed, and then it's past nine, nine o'clock, and I'm not going to spend the evening doing, doing housework. Mm. You see, Catherine doesn't have to go out to work. So Catherine should be able to find some time during the day to do, to do a bit of cleaning and tidying. Gareth, it's very easy to lay all at Catherine's door, mm. it really is. But it's too much to expect Catherine to do it on her own, absolutely is. And she's just drowning in mm. it. When your husband says you think she should find time, what do you say to that? Well, I think they should spend more time with the children, really. And I do quite a lot after they've all gone to bed. I'm usually mm. up very late, and making packed lunches for school the next day, making sure they've all got clean clothes for school. Mm. If we get you organised, yep. you'll see all the carpet shampooed, mm. we'll tidy through. Surely you'll say to yourself, it's lovely, come on, let's do a bit. Won't mm. it give you a bit of an urge? Yeah. So the nation's dream cleaning team sets out to scale the Williams Mountain of Dirt. That's are you sure you can manage this little one? Off you go now, the more the merrier. Is Rosie helping you sort out your books, girl? Yeah. Should we do it now? More children are required right. here. More children has never been a problem for the Williams, but it's the first time they've ever cleaned together. Alethea. Do you need to keep all your old magazines? Do you ever actually refer to them? Well, maybe. You know, it's not my dad keeps huge piles of newspapers. You might need them one day. Let's go. The Oma. This is mine. That's yours. Well done. I like your style. Two-year-old Arthur. That's a very good boy. Even mum and dad. How long has right. that been in there? Uh, a long time. A long time. That's empty. empty. Thank you very much. That's empty. Thank you very much. The mum has gone mouldy. Good luck. Oh, my goodness me. It takes the whole team six hours. Alethea's room alone has produced four bags of rubbish. I didn't know there was that much rubbish in the whole house. Come on. All of you. Every one of you. I want all this cleaned up. By the time I come back, I'm warning you. Let's get out this house. Get in there. This is your house, floor by floor. And it's got to be cleaned floor by floor. <laughs> Aggie, what have you got to say? Because this is such a big house, everyone's got to have an area of responsibility. So each child has to do his or her own room. We're going to send Daddy into the bathroom and the toilet to get that absolutely scrupulously clean. Yeah. Mummy, we're going to take you into the kitchen. Small room, but big, big, big job to do in here. When I say go, go. Masks and dusters in place, Kim's miniature team is pressed into action. But with just 72 hours to execute this mission, a full-size team is on hand. I'm giving you vinegar to use for your taps. Now, go at it like a bull in a china shop, you see. But have you seen people have that lime scale all around their taps? Oh, it's dreadful stuff to get off, but this moves it very, very quickly. Look, look at the shine. Do you see? Do you look at this lovely shine? That's just with vinegar, isn't it? And doesn't scratch the taps. Oh, no. Although it vinegar cleans, you must wash it off. It's acid. And if it stays on the taps, it'll corrode the taps. So you wash it off, so we wash it off when we clean the sink. That is very, very nice indeed. I'm very pleased. Don't forget to clean the stopper. Look at that, isn't it horrible? The army, dear, give it a good, good do out. Do you know years ago in Victorian times, before any of us were born, vinegar cleaned everything, you know? There wasn't all this wonderful cleaning stuff there is now. School over, homework begins. 11-year-old Edmund quickly heading for a gold star. Oh, I like the way he's working. He's working well. 
You make a well wonderful husband, you will. Eight-year-old Leoma might be in the wrong class. I don't really like cleaning. Well, what, what, what do you do with yourself if you don't clean? What, what do you do when you come from school? What do you do? I usually read. But it's the parents that are facing detention, despite their excuses. The kitchen is quite old. We do need to replace it, so it's not... It's, it's difficult to get an incentive to get it really clean. Mm. Oh, now I'm looking. No, I guess it's a dishwasher. It is normally. Wait, what, excuse what, me. Year? A couple of weeks. How many weeks? Once oh, years? A couple of weeks. Yeah. So, excuse me, how many? I just try to sort of tunnel, tunnel vision, you know, and not, and, not, and not look at anything I don't have to look at. You know that's not hygienic. I know it's not hygienic. Let us see what's under here. There's no men to volunteer. Oh, oh my God. God. What is this? Oh. Animal, vegetable or mineral? I Any couldn't idea? even hazard a guess. I wouldn't want to. But the Williams home isn't just dirty. It's a breeding ground for pests. Excuse me. What does that webbing tell us? What does it tell you? There's a lot of live matter in this cupboard. Oh. This is webbing left behind by moth larvae. Just a couple brought accidentally into your home could, in a year, become over a million million. Living and breeding in your food by God, we're suffering here, aren't we? We're mm. hard. We're I've got to say, hard. I have to seek new to employment. I'm suffering, I'm telling you. The gloves are on. Seconds out, it's Catherine and Gareth versus the pantry pests. Because you've got flower moths in your cupboards, you're not going to be able to eradicate them completely just by cleaning. You've got to vacuum them out. Two-year-old Arthur, who didn't even attend the masterclass, is learning by example. I think you've done a jolly good job on that, don't you? Do you think it looks nice? Does it smell nice? Yeah. Oh, it smells gorgeous. It smells a bit of vinegar still. Well, it's better than the smell of stinky poos. This decanter, um, what's in the bottom of it? It's a dry down port, I think, from a long time ago. You're talking years? Yeah. Possibly, OK. Now, you've tried soaking it and washing up liquid, yeah. and it hasn't shifted it, so I'm going to try a little trick. Dry rice in the bottom. That'll probably be enough. White vinegar, good old favourite. Now, the idea is that the acid of the vinegar cuts through and then you have the abrasion from the rice particles so actually, you can see the it's liquid. Gone it's yeah. gone pink. It's a good sign. I like it. I like it. Um, Nicely gone. Can we look at the base of that now? So there we are. It's taken five seconds. All gone. Oh, chop, right. chop. Well, we'll chuck that away and give it a good old rinse out. Nice wash with soapy water and it will come up like new. End of day one. Two days to go. But the team have barely scratched the surface as each layer of filth is peeled back even more. Horrors are revealed. This is the lovely slurry that we find at the bottom of your deep fat fryer. It's really gross. Want to stick your nose in there, Kim Woodburn and Aggie McKenzie have been summoned to Ross on Wye, Herefordshire. The Williams family's call was certainly not music to their ears. With seven mucky children, these are no von traps. But their home is now alive with the sound of cleaning. Now, your vegetable rack here is resembling a compost heap, yes, isn't it? Rather. I was going through here and emptying, and there's lots of fruit flies. Fruit flies aren't very nice to have around because mm. they're transferring their germs onto other areas. Yeah. One female can lay 500 eggs. Mm. Takes that egg one week to reach to adult form. Mm. So we're talking millions here. Halfway through day two, bedroom's done. Just the bathroom, kitchen and conservatory to go. Time for the resident graffiti artists to pay for their crimes and erase the past. This is what we're going to do. I want you, little one, Right? These are baby wipes. So if I give you a couple of these, will you undo them and will you go and start? And where you see I've done, you continue all the dirt and see, can you get it off for me, please? This is a lubricant most men have in their garage. Dad probably has one. You try bits of crayon and bits of marks. Don't put it near your face, darling. Methylated spirits. Go onto that corner and rub a dub dub every mark you see. Go on, darling. Elbow grease. Help your sister. Don't look at me, you work 
with lad work. I'm doing this half. This is lovely. You do over there. That's it, Arthur. Got you go some for here. it. I've got Arthur's. Some here. Yeah, that's lovely. You use that as well. Now I'm going to show you. You can pick up these sprays at any store. They're cheap and cheerful, and it says for mildew, and they jolly well work. Look at this awful mess here. Now look, watch. I spray it on. I simply rub, and it's gone. Furry green shower curtains can be a common problem, but for Kim, it's an opportunity to do the dance of joy. Now, I'll tell you what you can do. You've come in from the office. My feet are killing me. What am I going to do? What am I going to do? You're going to take your socks and shoes off, dear. You're going to roll up your trouser legs, and you're going to dance like the grape dancers. Oh, making the wine. Okay. And then you see you're pounding the curtain, you Ooh. see, and you're washing your feet. Okay. Pound away, dear. Pound away. Don't be shy, dear. You're in France pounding the grapes. It's pounding the grapes. Right, quite right, dear, quite right. Do you know, for every hour you pound, you take off 200 calories? Crayon and ink resist most household cleaners, but our ingenious cleaning queen is deploying meths, hairspray, toothpaste and baby wipes. Here we are, sparkling clean now. But when all else fails... With this, you see, this is baked on, really, it's really baked it on. More work. But with milk, you can still do it. You'll see it appearing on this. Just milk from the fridge. Look. Yes. It does work. By midday on day three, the home is ready for the carpet to be blasted. And the kids can take a break. This pet's corner over here. Edmund, you've got your geckos. How many do you have here? Three. And Leoma, you have snakes in there, is that right? Two of them. Two of them. Do you have names for them? Um, Sydney and Silky and the checked garters. Now, do you know that these types of reptiles carry something called salmonella? You know that, don't you? And do you know how important it is to wash your hands after handling the reptiles? Yes. Do you know what happens if you don't wash your hands properly? Um, you get a very, very bad stomach. That's right. If you have any trace of salmonella on your hands after handling these reptiles, and if you haven't washed your hands properly, then those germs can get transferred onto anything you're touching. Now, an adult infected by the bacteria could get a fever, tummy ache, diarrhea, but for children under the age of five, it can be much, much more serious. It could even lead to meningitis, and that can be deadly. So it's very, very, very important to wash your hands very thoroughly in hot soapy water for at least 30 seconds. So when you... Be hot water. Yes, it definitely does. End of day three. The filth has been sucked out of every pore. But even now, revolting abscesses remain. And that's a lovely little treat, isn't oh, it? Oh, dear. It really is. It's absolutely... Yeah. It's a lot of it, isn't there? Mm. Bigger than a football team, it's taken this squad of 17 three solid days scrubbing. But at last they've made it. The bugs are beaten. The humans can move back in. You can see what we've taken out of your house. Yeah. It's taller than your oldest oh, child here. Can, she can't be seen. She can hide yeah. behind it. Three days ago, the seven bedrooms were an obstacle course constructed of crumpled clothes, discarded books, toys and general junk. I come back in two weeks' time. How will I find this room? Um, just a little bit messier. <gasps> tiny, tiny. The bathroom was a hot house of mould and mildew, submerged under the flotsam brought in on the Williams tide. From this moment on, it's Gareth's job to keep it shipshape. Starting from this position, I don't think it's going to be too much work to actually keep it look, looking reasonable. So. And it isn't something that has to be done every day, is it, necessarily? No, not necessarily. No. No. If I can find once a week to really clean, That's clean it up, it's going to be okay. Honestly, it's enough. Yeah. Yes, it's and I just... suppose if I really can't find the time, I can always bribe, bribe one of the children, can't oh, I? Oh, I didn't hear that, Daddy Kins. But it was the oil slaked, bug ridden kitchen that was most revolting. This quagmire of filth constantly threw up new horrors. 
There was no area above, beneath, behind or within any object or utility that was not packed with the oily residue of 35,000 meals. I want to know from you two whether you're up for keeping this place clean. I'll we'll certainly try. Uh, that's not good enough for me, actually. Well, I don't think it sounds too good to me. Does it actually make any difference to you whether this place is clean or dirty? There's a lot more space to move around, less to trip over. Right. To um, get from one end of the kitchen to the other. What about it being any more pleasant to work in? Yes, I think so. You think so? Yeah. Let's, let's face it, we've been given a very good start here, haven't we? I mean, a very good, good, I think, yeah. the best start you could possibly expect, mm. actually. And I mean, I we, don't want be... it, we don't want in six months' time for it to be back the way it was, so... Mm. And it could so easily be. Mm. Can I just say I'm going to wipe the floor with you two if it's not as good as this when we come back? Fixed Dirt well. Detective Aggie collects yes, mugshots okay. of each of the reformed suspects. In two weeks' time, will they still be going straight or slip back into their grimy ways? Fast forward 14 days and Kim and Aggie return to the former grime scene. Good morning, family. Oh, my Good goodness. Good. Oh, I like, I like the alertness. Okay. It was all there. Right. Have you enjoyed being tidy? <laughs> kind of. Kind of. What did you think about being tidy? Kind of. <laughs> what did you think, Rosie, about being tidy? Was it? Yes. Has anyone been oh. messing up anyone else's room? I think the little one. Well, Arthur. Awesome. Uh, 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 I said to Arthur, get out my room. <gasps> and did he? Did he, though? Time for a room-by-room, room, fingertip search for filth. Ali, this is amazing. Did you have a mad tidy up before I came? Well, no, I just I did a bit, but I've been keeping it tidy every day. Well done. Well done. Are you happy with it? Yeah. Oh, that's good. That's really good. Oh, I like this. You've got your bicarb of... Now, what are you doing with this, then? This is the... Trying to clean out the... Paint out the sink down and put some... Oh, sweetheart! That's so impressive! Now it's Mum and Dad's turn. Will their little darlings show them up? We've already got spillages! Uh, I'm very annoyed, actually, after all that sudden work we did last week. Look, 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 look. Moths are back. The moths are blinking well back in that short time. Oh, you need simple, simple, plastic simple. tubs with yeah. tight fitting lids or glass jars with tight fitting lids. And in the meantime, I've got a temporary measure here with cheap plastic pegs to keep everything under control. A reward was promised if the Williams went straight and left their life of grime behind. So will they collect, or are they still on probation? Mum and Dad could have done better. I think they put went into full gear last night and this morning, but apart from that... They, they admitted did. that, didn't they? They yeah. let it get bad. But the kids... Yeah. They've done very well, so bless them. Yes. So I think they deserve a little yeah. treat, don't you? Yeah. Yes, kiddies, parents... The kids. The kids. Absolutely so. <laughs> Shall we? The surprise! 